welcome in this video. In this video, we will understand different methods to improve crop. Friends, why do we eat food? To get energy, right? But have you ever thought where this food comes from? Who makes them? Well, humans get food from trees, plants and animals. So, what do we get from trees? We get fruits and vegetables. And what do we get from animals? Animals provide egg, meat and milk. And by combining all these, we prepare different varieties of food. Vegetables and fruits provide small amount of protein, carbohydrates and fats in addition to vitamins and minerals. Grains like wheat, rice and maize provides us with carbohydrates for our energy needs. Pulses like gram, pea, black gram provide protein. And soybean, groundnut, oil seeds including sesame provides essential fats. Well, we got to know how important fruits and vegetables are for the human body. Friends, but the population is increasing day by day and with the increase in population, the demand for food is also increasing. In order to meet this, the quality and production of the crop should be increased. But have you ever thought how it can be possible? Let's know how. Can it be done by improving variety of crops? Can it be done by increasing crop production? Just think. Yes, friend. The crop improvement can be done by increasing the crop variety and by increasing its production. Is there any other way by which we can improve the crops? Yes, friends. Crop improvement can also be done by protecting the crop too. So, let's understand all these topics in detail. Friends, do you know what is the identity of a good crop? The crop should be immune towards diseases, high production and it should be of good quality. And one way to include all these desired features is hybridization. So guys, do you know what this hybridization is? Come, let's understand. Suppose you have two types of trees, A and B. Tree A gives high yield and is less resistant towards disease, while tree B gives low yield and is highly resistant to disease. So, what qualities do you need for a good harvest? Just think, a tree which has high yield and is highly resistant towards disease. But how can we get these two properties? By hybridization. In this method, scientists treat the seeds of both plants in a scientific manner and create a new seed which has the desired properties of both the seed. So what kind of tree will it be with new seeds? High yield and high resistance towards diseases. Do you know the other ways by which crops can be improved? The crops can also be improved by the use of good and healthy seeds and by using genetically modified seeds. So friends, by hybridization and by genetically modified, we can make better seeds. But what should be the properties of a good seed? Can you tell me? Properties such as high yield, having more nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, resistance towards disease caused by living organisms. Resistance towards disease caused by non-living organisms like heat, cold, drought and short maturity period. All these qualities should be in a good seed. So friends, you have learned how to improve the variety of crop and now we will know how to improve the crop production. We all know that we need food for our growth. Do plants also require nutrients for their growth? Just think, yes. Plants need nutrients for their growth. And do you know they can get nutrients from where? Tell? Yes. From air, water and soil. Most of the trees get nutrients from the soil like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, calcium, etc. Do you know what nutrients the tree gets from air and water? Think. Trees get carbon, oxygen and hydrogen from air and water. All these nutrients help plant to grow. Friends, what if the soil is short of nutrients? Just think, 
trees will not grow well, right? In such cases, manures and fertilizers are added to the soil to increase yield. Friends, do you know what these manures and fertilizers are? Let's know. You must have seen farmers adding black matter to the soil before sowing seeds. The same dark matter is called manure. The fertilizers are prepared by decomposing dead plants, animal waste, vegetable waste, etc., which makes the soil rich. Manure are of two types compost and vermicompost, and the other is green manure. In compost and vermicompost process, vegetable waste, animal feces, household waste, etc. are decomposed in pits. It is known as compost. To increase this decomposition process, earthworms are also used and this is called vermicompost. What is green manure now? Before sowing the seeds of the crop, some plants like sun hemp or guar are grown and then buried in the soil and mulched. These green plants thus turn into green manure which helps to enrich the soil. And fertilizer is a chemical substance that contains nutrients like nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus which when added to the soil increases the fertility of the soil. But friends, Use of more fertilizers leads to water pollution. Fertilizers are washed away due to excessive irrigation, which are not completely absorbed by the plants. This excess fertilizer gets carried away with water and mixed with the surrounding water bodies, causing water pollution. Do you know what else plants need for their growth? Apart from nutrients, plants require adequate water and good methods of growing crops. But how? Let's understand. Friends, there are two lands, A and B here. Plants in land A are adequately watered, while in land B, plants are not adequately watered. In which land do you think will plants grow properly? Land A. Absolutely right. So what did you know from this? Water is very essential for plant growth. Do you know where plants get water from? Think. Plants get water naturally from rain and artificially from wells, canals, tanks, etc. Friends, do you know that crop production can be increased by using different methods of growing crops? Let's know how. Crop production can be increased by using different crop pattern. For example, mixed cropping, intercropping, crop rotation. Let us know about these methods in detail. Mixed cropping. In this method, different types of plants are grown in the same field. Intercropping. In this method, two or more crops are grown at the same time in a land in a certain row pattern. Crop rotation. In this method, different types of plants are grown in a cyclic manner on the same land. This is done so that soil is not used for only one set of nutrients and it increases crop production. So you have seen how crop production can be increased in various ways. Let us now understand how crops can be improved by protecting the crop. Friends, if you look carefully at the grown cropland, then you can see small unnecessary plants growing with the crop. Well, these are called weeds. Do you think this weed is harmful to crop? These weeds compete for water, sunlight, space and nutrients. Therefore, it is very important to remove this weed. Do you know, apart from weeds, what can damage crops? Just think. Yes, apart from this, insects, pests and diseases also destroy the crops. Diseases in crops are caused by bacteria, fungi and viruses. Do you know how we can protect the crops from them? By spraying chemicals such as pesticides, herbicides and fungicides. Friends, if the crop is not stored properly after harvesting, it also destroys the crop. Therefore, grains should be stored properly. Do you know how to store grains? 
The grains can be stored by spraying chemicals and drying them in sunlight before storing, which keeps away all insects, mice, and microorganisms. So, what did we learn in this video? Improvement in crop variety, crop production management, crop protection. In next video, we will study about animal husbandry. 